let's first just move the Wendy's cup out of the way because she's not paying me to be in this video. Nor is Best Buy, so normally I'd be like, take off the Best Buy shirt before I film because fuck you, I'm off the clock, you're not paying me, but it's important for today's video, I guess. So we're gonna pretend like I look immaculate because first of all, I don't even really have like makeup on the bottom half of my face because like I, I got off work. I was wearing a mask. I Anyways, yeah. Tried to touch up so I'd look like okay for the video, but whatever. Um, so yes, I went to work just like this today. I don't know, the white, I was expecting to get like a lot more comments from customers about like my makeup, but a lot of them are used to me or just like, I mean, they're just in there to get their shit and get out. So they don't even really pay attention to me as an individual anyway. So a lot of people just don't even they're not looking at me. They don't notice. They don't care. I have a hat that's a little bunny. It's got little bunny ears. So, today's video, as you could probably tell by the title, I don't know what I'm going to title this, but I assume it has something to do with the context of this video. So, assuming that much, today's video, I just kind of want to go over something that most of us kind of run into in the workplace and that's like individualism and like expressing yourself and being alternative in a work environment where you do have to wear a uniform. I have a band-aid on my finger. It looks gross we're going to pretend like it's part of the aesthetic. So I, as most of you know who have been here for a while, worked at Hot Topic for three whole years of my life. That was four. I held up four fingers. I don't think it was in the shot. Thank God. I don't know how to count. Um, so yeah, three years. I worked at Hot Topic and working there, obviously I could wear like pretty much whatever I wanted as long as it was like, you know, I didn't have like my whole titties hanging out. A lot of titty was encouraged, but you know, I, I couldn't go in completely topless and I couldn't like wear this shirt to work. Like nothing with a whole ass brand plastered across. Well, yeah, I guess it depends. Cause I'm like, if I wanted to wear like a champion sweatshirt to Hot Topic, I could have done that I'm sure, but I'm not gonna wear a shirt that says like Spencer's on it. You get what I'm saying, right? <coughs> Am I dying? God, I hope so. So I worked there and uh, after like working at Hot Topic and getting to wear like literally whatever I wanted to work for the first time, um, because before then I worked at Domino's, before then I worked at Wendy's, before then I worked at McDonald's, um, before then I cleaned doctor's offices. Uh, but for the most part, I've been in very uniform based work type environment places of sorts. And um, so after working on Hot Topic, I'm just like, never again do I like want to work a place where I have to wear a uniform and tone it down and I, I can't be myself because that's just, that's, that's all I got going for me is, is this. This, this is all I have to offer. I got nothing else. Do not ask me for anything. I can't help you. So when I finally uh, got fed up with Hot Topic and I was ready to move on and I felt like I'd gotten absolutely everything I needed out of that job, uh, that was my main concern. Like literally fucking look at me. Like I got it not really offensive, but semi-questionable tattoos. I have all this fucking metal in my face. I look like a goddamn cartoon character. Who is gonna hire me? Best Buy. Best Buy will hire me. So, so there is a lot more places now that are a little bit more lenient with like their dress code and, you know, places are letting you wear jeans to work instead of, what do people wear to work? Where are those pants? The like tan ones? Where are those called? God damn it. Uh, khakis. Khakis. That was the word we were looking for. Word of the day. Use it in a sentence in the comments. Oh uh, yeah. So places are like letting you wear sneakers. I think Starbucks did a thing where you can wear like whatever you want. You just have to wear your apron over it. So places are kind of like getting to that point because they they want to give you reasons why you want to work there right and so when i worked at best buy i knew that best buy being like the kind of store it is you know it's i deal a lot with like elderly customers you know we're working with technology so as far as retail goes it's a little more on like the the serious side because you want to 
appear like a professional and like an expert, you know, um, as opposed to another place where you're just like maybe just checking people out, stocking shelves. Um, not to say that that's not like a professional job because like a lot of people go to like Target and Walmart. They work there for like 20 years and they move up and they actually have real goals and aspirations, unlike myself that plans to go nowhere and just hope something works out. But so that was my main concern. Like, are they going to allow this? Are they going to allow this? So today I would like to give you guys some tips on how to kind of be able to bring your own personal style like into a set uniform. I was really bummed like going back to a job where I had to wear a uniform, but honestly, like I said, I went to work like this. This is just a Best Buy t-shirt. I'm wearing like black skinny jeans from Hot Topic. I have on these, let me take off my shoes. I have on these big fucking clunky shoes. God damn it, I can't get them off. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. These clunky motherfuckers, chunky as all hell, very dirty, covered in dog hair, doesn't matter. I have on like these little, can I bend? <laughs> Like leg warmers, I don't know, just just stuff. I, I have stuff on, cause I'll be at work and people, now I took off one shoe, now I have to take up the other shoe or else my feet won't be even. My feet can't be different temperatures. But I'll be at work and I'll have people come up like, oh my God, I love your outfit. And it's like weird that they see this as an outfit because it's my uniform, right? Like this is what I'm required to wear working at Best Buy. But it's just because I just, I find a way to put a spin on it. So I have some notes and then I'm going to show you some examples of how I throw like my outfits together for work. So, um, number one is going to be the obvious. Um, so my makeup, I can do my makeup however I want. This is to most normal people on this planet, this would be like a bit extreme. To me, this is still pretty toned down. It's just, I felt like doing the white. I haven't done like a white look in a while. So I did that. I do how, like how it makes my eyes look though. Cause I feel like I have like that like circle lens dolly eye look going on just because of how the white like makes my, my eyes look bigger and like, I don't know, look kind of creepy whatever. Um, so with that being said, now some places aren't going to let you have total control over like even your face still. There are some places that will require you to like tone it down. I know somewhere, for example, like Hooters, I think Hooters, you have to have like fairly, you have to wear makeup, but it has to be like fairly minimalist or either that or it's just the clientele. Like you learn to make it more minimalist just because they don't like a ton of makeup. You know how places and people are being people in places. Uh, my number one recommendation would be to look through your SOP of where you work, look through your dress code and like read between the lines. So Best Buy, for example, um, they allow you to wear either black pants or blue jeans. Most people choose blue jeans, right? Cause that's casual and that's like more, they can be more themselves. Um, me personally, I fucking hate jeans other than at work. And like when I just got off work and I have somewhere to be, you will not catch me dead in any kind of jeans of any sort. On occasion, I'll do like some printed pants. They're rarely going to be like jean texture. If anything, they're more of like that jegging texture. Cause that's the only thing I can sort of stand. I'm a dresses and skirts person. And, um, when I do wear pants, it'll be like joggers or sweatpants or leggings like I, I I fucking hate jeans I think they are the worst invention ever they're not comfortable they make me feel constricted and I, I can't exist within them so my thing is where I can wear jeans or black pants again the pants I'm wearing are very can I stand I don't think I have enough of an area to stand uh -huh. very stretchy I mean she getting a little thick so they ain't as stretchy as they once were but very stretchy jegging texture. They're very, they're as close to leggings as I can get away with at my job. And I just try to like mess with different styles of jeans. So I'll show you some of that. So, uh, yeah, read between the lines of like your dress code. And when all else fails, like if you can't get a clear answer, uh, one, talk to your boss or your supervisor or whoever's in charge and just be like, Hey, like, can I do this? Would this be okay? Or you can do what I personally like to do and just kind of start fairly neutral like do what you're supposed to do and then just work your way up and just keep adding shit every day and just over time get more and more over the top until somebody says you have to stop it and 
obviously I'm getting pretty far. So yeah. So like when we got a new GM, I asked him like, hey, shoes like this, would this be okay? Would this be okay? They'll let me wear my big fucking like clunky black demonias. I'll go get those in a second, but they won't let me wear Crocs. Some places, you who would who would have thought? I mean, Crocs are like workplace shoes, right? Like that's their whole shtick. What were Crocs for? I fucking love Crocs. I'm glad they're back. That's probably something that's not gonna age well. Also, if you've like read your dress code, you've talked to your boss, you're just adding stuff more and more every day. I started off like very, you know, maybe I would wear like a different style of jeans. Then I started with changing my shoes and um, doing my makeup like a little bit different. And then they added hats to the dress code um, just because of our curbside carryout model. Um, they allowed you to wear hats, you know, help protect you from the sun. Uh, so I bought cute hats and I've worn them to work and everybody's seen me and nobody's told me that I couldn't or made me take it off. Cause that's the thing. Like if somebody says, if you just try to wear a hat one day and someone just comes up and says, Hey, take off that hat. You just take off the hat. Like it's not a big deal, right? Like just, and then move on and then try something else. Um, accessories. Again, some places are going to be more strict about the accessories. Um, but I haven't found anything that says I can't wear jewelry. <laughs> They don't specify what kind of jewelry. I know a lot of fast food places and stuff. It's all very, like, a lot more uniform. There's a lot of jewelry they don't allow. Um, Best Buy is pretty lax. Also, not to mention, you could work at Best Buy. My Best Buy could be completely different from yours. So it also varies, like, from store to store. It's all, like, manager discretion, right? Also, things just like this. I have on a Best Buy t-shirt. Now, this, um, our GM ordered them because, you know, we made numbers or what the hell ever. A lot of bigger companies and, like, bigger corporations, they will have, like, a specific, like, website you can access or, like, some kind of catalog where you can buy your own, like, merch for work, you know? Best Buy, within their, uh, employee toolkit, you can get on this website and you can order, like, Best Buy t-shirts, Best Buy jackets, Best Buy hoodies, like things that represent the company you work at so that even though it's like more of a casual thing, it's going to be something you're more comfortable in than your traditional uniform, it's still going to be something you're allowed to wear because it has that company plastered all over it. Now, of course, nine times out of ten, that's going to come out your own paycheck, but I mean, it's up to you um, how long you plan on staying at that company, how much you're really willing to represent it and um also just like how comfortable you want to be you know like to me i feel like it's worth it just to pay like 40 50 whatever 60 bucks for a best buy hoodie just so i have a hoodie i can wear to work you know what i mean so that's that's all in <laughs> desk that's all entirely up to you what else hair color that's another good way like if you can't do this if you can't do this if you can't do I threw my shoes across the room. I, I can't reference those. If you can't do any of this, a lot of places will allow you to have colored hair. So maybe before you go get a job or do something to your hair, I mean, just check and see if it's okay. So this hair, it looks kind of blonde. It's like a very, 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 maybe the light hits it. It's like a very pale pink. It's like, it's like my hair was blonde and then pink just got like washed through it. I wear all my different colored wigs to work. I have rainbow wigs. I have like, I mean, you've seen a good part of my wigs. That pink one I've been wearing, that's my, my like everyday go-to wig. So I wear that to work. So even on days where maybe somebody important's coming or whatever corporate, I don't know, I'll, I'll still be in that bitch with pink hair and like nobody says shit because they allow colored hair. Um, they don't specify that you can't have 40 colors in your hair at once. So, you know, whatever. So let's go over here and I will show some examples. I need, Ooh, that was bad. Um, I probably need my other tripod for this endeavor, but maybe I can swing it because then I'll have to move my phone and then I'll have to like move the mic attached to the phone and then stick it into the other thing and stick the phone into that thing and then attach the mic and then that's a lot of, that's, it's, it's just a lot, you know, it's a lot, not here for it. I'm going to set you right here, maybe. Why won't, son of a bitch. 
Just stay where I tell you to stay. Well, I gotta bend down like this, so it's not a perfect system. The light's also really... Will this ring light reach over here? Being a YouTuber is hard. What if I just... Well, it's a little better. We'll, we'll take it. Like I said, uh, jeans. So, let me show you what my traditional work uniform would be. So, black pants is all I wore when I first started. Because, again, I hate jeans. Ah, shit. I forgot I had to wash all my shirts. I don't have one for reference. One second. Okay, fresh from the dryer from, like, two and a half weeks ago. Okay, so this is my regular... This is my regular work shirt. It's just, like... The classic Best Buy polo. Um, so even this, um, a polo, like, tucked into your pants. Super boring, but it can also be really cute. So how I would do this is, usually when I wear these where it does have a collar, I ran up my basement steps and now I'm, like, straight up out of breath. Uh, yeah, so where this has, like, the collar on the shirt, I like to be an anime-ass bitch. And so I have, like, all these little cutesy anime bow tie ribbon things. I have, like, three or four of those. So, like, I'll just literally put the little ribbon around my neck, and then I have, like, a cute little bow tie. You can wear your shirt tucked or untucked. I usually tuck in my shirt because it's just overall more flattering to my figure, personally. Today, I did not tuck it because it, it's a big t-shirt, and again, these pants are kind of like leggings, so, like, that's okay. But if I'm wearing, like, if I'm wearing, like, trendier jeans, I'm usually gonna tuck in my shirt. Personal preference belt. So, if you work at a place that does require you wear a belt, now, Best Buy's SOP, um, I'm pretty sure that they changed it to where your shirt can be untucked, because you used to have to tuck it in. Uh, since I started working there, they had changed it, and, um, but it does say if your shirt is tucked in, you have to wear a belt. It's not entirely enforced in my store, um, but if you do work a place where you have to wear a belt, why not make the belt cute if you can? Instead of just a regular black belt, maybe like a grommet belt. Now, this was my starting point. This was my first, like, can I get away with this? Because it wasn't, like, the technical belt they're expecting you to wear, um, but still very fashionable. Most of us have a grommet belt, and, uh, it's fine. And since then, I've graduated. Like, okay, let's throw in a white one. Okay, let's throw in this super crazy, like, bondage-ass o-ring studded belt. Fuck it, throw in a fake Louis Vuitton belt, make people think you matter. Now my favorite ones right now are these little, like, this little clear holographic belt. Um, I have this one, and then I have one that looks just like it, except the buckle's a heart. Super cute. And then I have, like, the full clear version of both of those. The clear belts I like a lot because, like, they go with literally everything. They can go to work, like, you know, whatever you're wearing outside of work. I don't know. You get what I'm saying? It's clear. It literally matches everything. So, those are a lot of fun. Yeah, so, so far, God, it's so hard to bend down and talk to the camera. So far, yeah, accessories, if you can get away with it, I'll wear all kinds of different little bow ties and collars and chokers and dainty jewelry if I'm feeling it. Like, any and all of that stuff. If you can wear hats, beanies, whatever you're into. I have a lot of the, I, I, the only hats I'm really into are berets. On occasion, maybe a beanie, but I have this little beret with cat ears, super cute. I have this plain black one that's covered in dog hair that I like to stick little pins on. I have all my different wigs, uh, headbands, so I have a couple different headband examples. So something like this, now this is like a Hello Kitty version of like all the wire cat ear headbands that were popular the last couple years. So something like this is going to be more subtle and more clockable as like a normal fashion accessory. And then you can bump it up a notch to something that, it's still regular headband. But it's cute little fuzzy cat ears, so I wear this one a lot. Or you can be me and just wear your straight up fucking cat ears to work, because I do that all the time. And uh, kids love it. Other people, they're just like, why are you a cat? And I'm like, meow meow, bitch. I don't know. <laughs> I have identity issues. Let me be a cat. Got this other little Hello Kitty one. I have a lot of headbands, and I have like these cute little like maid headbands. For when I'm feeling fancy or like a maid, I don't know. I'm a corporate slave. So shoes, I'll talk more about shoes now. The ones I mentioned earlier, these bad bitches like fucking stomp your guts out. Um, the camera does no justice as to how big these motherfuckers are. I mean, I'm a bad comparison. I'm not that big of a person. Uh, but yeah, these are fucking heavy. Like each shoe weighs more than all three of my dogs put together. They're also not very big. But all together... 
They weigh quite a bit. Whatever, yeah. So, I asked my manager about these. He's like, I don't know, wear them one day. And then, you know, if you can't wear them, I'll just let you know. And I'm like, okay. And then I wear them, like, every single fucking day. He's never said a thing. Of course, people know, like, Converse's. You can usually wear different colored Converse's or, like, Nike's or whatever you're into. I recently bought these on eBay ebay pretty sure it was ebay um they're just like the brand bamboo um super cute just like pink knockoff balenciaga wannabe fucking shits what is falling stop falling so i have those i love like loafers and like these little like japanese school style loafer thing um these are i bought them to do cosplays and stuff but they're also comfortable and really cute and they have like a little skull on the bottom super adorable so i wear these all the time and i'll like do these with like my little anime girl bow tie and just like cute shit like that um combat boots literally like all shoes are a fucking go as long as i don't wear something like to this extremity or you know like obviously don't do something that's super over the top but just like more subtle like less clockable things most of the time no one's gonna say anything um they're really just gonna give you compliments these are my next experiment i want to see if i can get away with wearing these to work another thing if you're really trying to experiment like with your work wardrobe if you have like those few like favorite managers you know we all have like the cool managers just try it out while they're working and maybe pay attention to the more strict bosses like pay attention to when their schedule is and just dress yourself around that you know what i mean i've done that plenty of times in my life of course now I'm to the point where i'm like i'm 25 i don't give a shit where you gonna do fire me good luck bitch find someone else that can do this and this and that they could i'm easily replaceable but i'm feeling myself today what else do i need to talk about pants 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 so black stretchy whatever the fuck this is these are like pretty big on me but they're still nice and comfortable and stretchy but these are like um like very wide flare bell bottoms that i bought when i was like on my 70s kick and they're still pretty i don't know they're cute they're cute i like the little fringe at the bottom so it's just a different style i have a good mix of like high-waisted and like mid-rise even some low rise i'm not gonna have fun putting all these clothes away when this video is over got a couple different pairs of mom jeans now the one thing with jeans where i work is they can't be like distressed like you can't have like a lot of holes and stuff in them um and they can't be like fun prints and patterns um so yeah so this is just showing you like there's ways around that like get you a cool fancy hem like those like fringe bell bottoms i showed you a um, couple pairs of mom jeans, which I feel like even when they're not distressed, those are pretty stylish right now. You can cuff the bottom, let everybody know you're bisexual. This is just another pair of flared pants. They have less of a flare at the bottom. They're all destroyed because I had to cut them because I'm like fucking four feet tall. So <laughs> I have to like do this to all my flared pants. And that's why I'm keeping my skinny jeans because at least one day a week, I want a pair of pants that I don't have to fucking cut six inches off of to wear them. Even though I cut the bottoms off, I still have to wear them with some type of platform or they're way too long. So that's another reason why I wear platform shoes so much. Um, yeah, but these have like these buttons going up. So things like that, like little details. You don't need all the holes and stuff like that that you're not going to be able to wear. You can just look for shit like this. Uh, maybe if there's like some embroidery on the pockets or something, all that 2000 stuff is coming back. So I'm sure you can find that. I guess that was more of like a 70s thing. The, the, the 2020s is like Y2K meets like 1970s three i don't know what's going on i'm here for it though and then even something like this now they want you to wear black or blue jeans but i've worn these a couple times and i get a little side eye but no one's like outwardly said like never wear those again they're just like oh those are different pants but they're just gray that's all they are just gray pants from hot topic like everything else i own they're like these jegging type things they have like this like I don't know like the threading through it like the um embroidery is black and it looks cool across the gray very like edgy emo 
whatever the fuck, and her skinny jeans. And I didn't have to hem this. They were already hemmed because they were supposed to be a crop jean, but they just fit me normally because <laughs> I'm short. Being five foot one is my only personality trait. Well, that and being a cat. You know, I feel like we covered all the basics. So, yeah, if you want to express your own personal style in the workplace, I mean, just look at things. Just look at things like that because, I mean, you can do a lot with like just a uniform. So, technically, my uniform is jeans a Best Buy shirt of my choosing. Oh, I, I was gonna show you my other, I have another Best Buy t-shirt. It doesn't matter. I have several Best Buy t-shirts. I plan on working there for a while. Yeah, so get creative with your makeup. If nothing else, maybe you change up your hair. Um, if you can't make a commitment to coloring your hair, I mean, try some wigs. Even if you have to do like natural colors, because some people have to do natural colored hair at work, like just do different styles or maybe something like this that is technically pinkish but it still looks fairly natural and it's not like clockable as a, a crazy collar or something oh my god i'm so sorry try your best to uh accessorize maybe you're not wearing shit like this this is really fucking heavy i'm gonna take this off um but maybe you can uh wear some earrings uh that ship sailed for me many many years ago but try some earrings or like just other that looks so bad i promise it was not that painful maybe so, just some like other jewelry or like even just a tattoo choker i don't know mix it up um belts are your best friend nine times out of ten because a lot of places require you wear a belt anyways um even like crazy socks like sometimes when i wear skinny jeans i'll wear like patterned socks like baseball socks or something like up over my jeans with like a cute pair of sneakers or something i don't know man i guess because i've just spent so long trying to get around like dress codes and stuff during my youth that i just kind of know what to look for and know how to work with it and then like i said um all my supervisors at work are absolutely great and they just don't care what you look like as long as you're doing what you're supposed to do and you're doing well with your job. Um, I have customers all the time that are so mean to me because of how I look, but then, like, I've had one of my bosses, like, tell somebody to, they can just get the fuck out before because they were rude to me because they're like, she's a good worker, she doesn't deserve that, which I fucking love my Best Buy family. Like, they're ride or die, man. So, yeah, shoes, accessories, hair, I'm repeating myself, but, like, my mind is, like, a million fucking miles a minute right now. But, yeah, like I said, all else fails. Um, just try subtle things. Like, add a little bit of you wherever you can. And then if it's something that's going to get you in trouble, I mean, somebody's going to come talk to you about it. So, why not just, like, push your boundaries a little bit, you know? that I feel like that's a lot more fun. Like, makes me feel like a kid again. Like, can I get away with this? We'll find out in the next episode. And then, again, just... Talk to your boss, um, talk to the managers that you might be, like, friends with or you trust or just be like, hey man, I'm feeling really tied down to the man and odds are one of them's gonna be like, fuck yeah, me too, bro. And then maybe you can work something out. Like, maybe you, you can even set something with the rest of your coworkers. Like, maybe you can come to an agreement that you'll have, like, you know, like the typical workplace, like, casual Friday. So maybe you can have, like, a, like a wacky sock Wednesday or something. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Okay, well, I... Uh, I guess that's it. You get the idea. So yeah, I basically, I have, um, like different outfits every day when I work because I just change up my pants style, change my shoes, change my hair, like do my makeup. Um, right now, masks are a big part of it. So like wearing, if you don't work in a place where you have to wear like a specific like Starbucks mask or something like that, I can wear whatever mask. So I have a lot of fun, funky masks. I have like cute little anime faces and ones with unicorns, all kinds of stuff. And I'll also match my mask to like my outfit or my mood or my makeup. So that's, if all else fails, everything I've showed you in this video, if you're like, mm-mm, can't do none of that, um, just change your mask. Like, at least we have that option right now. Like, pick out something cute. Most places aren't worried about the mask you're wearing. They just want to make sure you're wearing one because it's a requirement. Hopefully, everybody lives different places. So, here it's a requirement still. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this has been the worst video I've ever filmed and all I did was ramble. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad I'm here and I like making videos and I'm glad you watched my rambling and, um, hopefully these were some semi-helpful tips 
if you can call them that. And that's 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 it for now until I remember something I already forgot and then it's too late. Okay, well, uh, thank you again so much for existing. You can subscribe if you want. I'm not gonna tell you what to do because I'm not in charge here, even though this is my channel. But I still can't tell you what to do. If you like it, you like. I don't know. I love you. Have fun. Be safe like both ways before you cross the street. And I will see you next Monday. <laughs> I forgot what day I uploaded. I'm so sorry. I'm a bad YouTuber. Bye.